And I also wanted to, we've got so many great folks who are here today. We have uh, Greg McHughes, the President and CEO of Connect, Sean Kinghorn of the Senior Sustainability Program Manager of Inuit. We have uh, Doug Cott from DNVGL, Mike Kren, of course, who's president of the San Diego Venture Group, Steve Pomerine, who's the vice president of, oops, did I pronounce your name right, Steve? I don't think, Pomerine? Yeah, close enough, very good. Steve, I'm glad you're here. Um, vice president of uh, Alexander Real Estate, of course, and then Matt Ellis, who is the founder and CEO of Measurable, who is hosting us here today. And I want to thank everybody who's here, not only for Measurable, but from Intuit and the port. Um, what, a, what a great announcement. Um, everybody who is here represents the widespread support that we've been able to gather for the city of San Diego's Climate Action Plan, a plan that's supported by Democrats and Republicans alike that's tailored to benefit both our environment and our economy. And it's the private sector leaders who are the ones really taking meaningful steps to make San Diego one of the greenest cities in the nation. And that is something that we are very, very proud of. The city of San Diego's landmark climate action plan is one of the most ambitious in the country, and rightfully so. It sets the blueprint for us to increase the use of clean energy with a goal of 100% renewables by 2035, significantly reduce our greenhouse gases, and improving neighborhoods, reducing traffic, and creating local water supplies by investing in projects that will help us reach those goals. And this is just the beginning. But of course, to achieve these goals, the city cannot do it alone. And it's really why I'm thrilled to be here today, to join all of you, to announce the private sector push to make our city more sustainable, more efficient by conserving water, electricity, and energy. This new initiative, it's called a 2030 district, brings together private sector sustainability solutions to building owners to install technologies that will help protect our natural environment. And by pledging to reduce their carbon footprint and monitor their progress, building owners are going to be able to cut back on energy costs, save water, and of course, reduce their carbon footprint. As the saying goes, what gets measured gets managed. And the businesses that measure their progress will learn what's working and what they need to do to adjust. And so ultimately, it's their efforts that will really help us to create that sustainable, efficient workplaces in tandem with our city's climate action plan. So working together, this is all about, as I said, for the very, very beginning, working to improve our quality of life for our children and our grandchildren. The city of San Diego, the good news, is already ahead of our goals. And the commitment from the business community is still paramount to staying on the right track. So I'm thankful for all of the support for many of the leaders that are here today. San Diego is a national leader in our efforts to create a more sustainable future. And building owners in cities across the country from New York, Los Angeles, and Seattle have pledged to track and reduce their energy consumption. So I'm ex very excited that our local San Diego leaders, our private sector, is stepping up to the plate. So when we talk about the future of San Diego's environment, we're talking about the future of our communities, something every San Diegan can get behind. Protecting our beaches, protecting our bays, of course, that's the key to our economic opportunity and our future here in San Diego. And it's really why what today is all about, bringing our community, our business, environmentalists. As I said, it's not about partisanship. It's Democrats, Republicans, neighborhoods, and City Hall all together. Together, we will pass on a San Diego that is cleaner than when we received it. And this private sector alliance is an exciting way that's going to make that happen. I'm so proud of, of everybody here today. San Diego is once again leading the way uh, for the rest of the cities across the nation. And with that, I'll turn it back to Jason. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Mayor. I also want to make sure Cody Hooven's in the room, who's a key player in this, this process as well. Cody's with the City of San Diego, their Chief Sustainability Office, so welcome, Cody. Um, so again, Jason Anderson, President CEO of Cleantech San Diego. Uh, Cleantech San Diego was founded 10 years ago to help advance the region's development and deployment of clean technologies. And thanks to efforts of both our private sector and public sector, uh, we are now ranked number three in the nation for cleantech leadership. Today, we're proud to join Mayor Faulkner and others to launch the 2030 District in San Diego, making our city uh, the latest addition to a network of 15 other 
other existing 2030 districts in the country. And we're excited and committed, um, Cleantech San Diego is, to manage the 2030 districts formation and, and program here in San Diego as part of our Smart City San Diego Collaborative. Uh, the creation of this district will encourage the deployment of energy efficiency technologies to help buildings manage and control their energy consumption while obviously saving money. And the district is a welcome addition to our regional efforts to promote private public partnerships that benefit both the economy and the environment. And we know from experience that working across industries and verticals in this manner is key to maintaining San Diego's position as a leader in clean technology and smart cities innovation. And we are well positioned here in San Diego to establish a sustainable and successful 2030 district. And we look forward to advancing a shared vision for sustainability and economic growth with our regional partners through this initiative. And one of those apart partners I'd like to introduce today is Matt Ellis, uh, our host today uh, and founder and CEO of Measurable. Matt. So usually when this many people are in our office, it's because we've tapped a cake. <laughs> so it's really nice you guys all to show up. I would like to tell just a, a bit of a local story here um, with some dates to it. So bear in mind the lineage. Uh, 1958, Dr. Charles Keeling began taking atmospheric carbon measurements, laying the foundation of climate science. A plaque honoring his work is just up the road at Scripps Institute of Oceanography, part of UC San Diego. 30 years later, Intuit launched its first product. It was built on UCSD Pascal. It's a software language developed at UC San Diego. Uh, they liked it so much that they launched a campus here about 10 years later. 94, Alexandria formed the first REIT focused on life sciences, an incredibly important sector here in San Diego. Today they've got 4 million square feet of high performing buildings, sheltering some of the most important and innovative companies in San Diego. Last year, 2015, under the leadership of our mayor, uh, Mr. Falconer, the city passed its climate action plan. It's a set of strategies around renewable energy, zero waste, and water reduction, all aimed at a more sustainable, uh, more prosperous community. Today, we're standing in the office of a company founded by UC San Diego alumni. It's home to a team motivated by the work that Dr. Keeling did. It is a product that we build here inspired and in fact advised by Intuit. It is deployed by those folks at Alexandria and now it can be leveraged by the city to attain its sustainability ambitions. My name is Matt Ellis. I'm the founder and CEO of Measurable. I would like to tell you how incredibly honored we are to be part of uh, something here that I think will set the tone, not just of what has happened in the past, but to carry it forward. And when it comes to our company, you know, we were born here, but we are now deployed far beyond the city's limits. I checked the stats this morning. It's nearly 5% of all the commercial real estate in the United States runs our software. And you measure it by the floor area of the buildings. It's an incredible outcome built, uh, produced, and deployed by a company right here uh, that thrives because of the policies and the people that are standing in this room. Um, from the history I shared, Though we are clearly in the footsteps of San Diego sustainability innovators and leaders. It's a tradition represented by those in this room, and we are very, very proud to be in attendance and in support of it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matt. Great San Diego story, great uh, UCSD story. Thanks, Matt. So now I'd like to bring up uh, Steve Pomerinke, Vice President, Design and Construction for Alexandria REIT. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, Matt. At Alexandria, we create dynamic and collaborative work environments uh, that promote health and productivity. Now, why do we do that? We do that to support our life science tenants who, in their quest to create life-changing breakthroughs in science and medicine, work hard every day. Their environment should work just as hard. We're very proud to be the first real estate company to join the San Diego 2030 district. We look forward to look, working with Cleantech, Measurable, the city of San Diego and the mayor to create and shape the future of sustainability in San Diego. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for your early commitment. It's, it's key to the success of this program. Now I'd like to bring up Doug Cott. Uh, Doug is head of section of sustainable buildings and communities for DNG, DNVGL and a key partner in 2030 districts, both here in San Diego and outside of San Diego. So, Doug. Thank you, Mayor Faulkner. Thank you, Jason and Cleantech San Diego, and especially to Matt and Measurable uh, for hosting us today. On behalf of DNVGL, we're excited to be partners in this launch of the San Diego 2030 District. As you've heard already, San Diego uh, 2030 District will be a high performance building district aimed at dramatically reducing environmental impacts of building development and operations through education and collaboration. This effort is, is private sector driven with local building industry leaders uniting around a shared vision for sustainability and economic growth. The San Diego 2030 District promotes uh, product solutions and sustainable strategies to transform the built environment with focus on increasing resilience to current and future challenges. This will help lower operating costs and improve property values. Uh, building owners within a 2030 district are supported with a roadmap to own, manage, develop high-performance building by leveraging existing uh, market resources and creating new tools. These tools and resources will help measure and communicate progress toward efficiency goals, assess market gaps, and identify opportunities. Uh, and of course, uh, we're here today to celebrate Measurable as the start of one of those tools. My company, while its roots are not in San Diego, has been around since 1864. So we have a long, um, long perspective on sustainability. We were formed with the purpose of safeguarding life, property, and the environment. And today, uh, my team of 45 plus technical professionals here in San Diego are pleased to be able to support a safer, smarter, and greener world. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. And to bring up our last speaker, uh, my pleasure to announce Mike Crin, president of the San Diego Venture Group. The Cleantech San Diego, or the San Diego Cleantech economy here um, is really built around a lot of early stage companies doing some really amazing things. And Mike is really changing the landscape for startups here in San Diego and, and making them more, uh, more present, more aware, uh, and I think uh, doing a great job to uh, attract more capital to those companies. So Mike, thanks for being here today. Hi, everyone. I want to start by thanking uh, the mayor and Cleantech Org and Cleantech San Diego and Matt's company. Um, the formation of this district is a big deal for San Diego, and so it's really great that they were able to, to pull this off and make this happen. We work very closely at the Venture Group trying to help companies raise money and then helping them scale and grow. And the formation of this district provides a testing ground where these young companies can come in, test their wares, and help take their companies to the next level. That helps attract more financing in town. That helps companies um, hire more people, create job growth, and it just feeds upon itself. So it's really um, a great to see this coming together. And I'd also like to thank uh, Matt and his team. I've known these guys for a very long time. They've been working their butts off for a very long time. And uh, to see them just continue to grow and to, to hit these accomplishments is really great for San Diego. So thank you, guys. And I think it's also worth noting that my, uh, Mike has established an office in the Bay Area, um, I think as part of a beachhead movement, is that yes, correct? The uh, with, with the mayor. Um, so another great thing that's happening right now in San Diego. So Mayor Faulkner, thank you so much for your support. Uh, you're always strong support of the clean technology sector here in San Diego. And thanks to all of our speakers and Measurable uh, for hosting us here today. Um, we are all committed uh, to continuing to build San Diego's future for the benefit of both our economy and our environment. Uh, and we thank you for your time and attention this morning. The speakers are available for one-on-one -on -one interviews um, if, if you would like. Uh, if not, there's copies here. Matt, thanks again for hosting us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.